Welcome back to another cast of Why So Serious StarCraft 2 with your your casters, Iwing Quaffle, which is me, and Doom Joker. What up, guys? What up? We have a 1v1. Dylan is from Clan I, or Team Iwin, I should say, which is Quaffle, my co-caster's team. And we have Summer Random, which is a new member of Clan Doom, which is my team. So we got a little clan war here. It's going to be pretty sweet going on. So, Yep, and poor Dylan was just talking before the game that he was having some epic splits early on, and he just selected <laughs> all his workers, told them to go to a mineral patch, and then told them that he didn't want them to go to that mineral patch and sent them all to the opposite side of the mineral line. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little oh, bit man. upset about that. <laughs> yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah, he was just telling us how good of splits he was doing, and now he failed on national casting. Poor I'm guy. A, on national, but we're just going to say I still love you, Dylan. <laughs> All right. So I'm I'm rooting for uh, some random because he plays Zerk and that he is from my team, and this is sweet, Quaffle, so I hope your guy does not win so my team gets breaking <laughs> rights. And that'll be cool. I'm sorry to inform you that Dylan is actually already – uh, plan to win this. He, <laughs> he he wrote it down in his calendar. He nice. said, "I'm going to win for Quaffle t today." Nice, nice. <laughs> I don't have that good of preparation with some random. I've actually never seen him play because he's a new Doom member. But I have high hopes because our Doom recruiting is epic. Well, <laughs> here in Team I win. We just recruit nerd ballers. So <laughs> nerd ballers, <laughs> true. All right, you might have me, but we'll see. We'll see if some <laughs> if you pull something out. <laughs> so, right. what is happening in this game so far? We have Dylan just throwing down a second rack, second racks. So, mm -hmm. uh, looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a two racks pressure from Dylan. A beautiful mm -hmm. opening, good in all Zerg situations. Yeah, absolutely. We have some random going for the hatch before the spawning pool, which is going to hinder him in the defense of this two racks just mm -hmm. a little bit. He might have to pull some workers off the line to battle. Are we going to see a bunker rush, do you think? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, both these players are diamond, so uh, they might try to opt for something less micro-intensive. Mm -hmm. But... Um, we do, see a, we do see a Marine hoofing his way down there, possibly be throwing a bunker down soon, so... Yep. He is rallied. And we got another Marine rallied on the way. We're going to see some early pressure. A couple of SCVs coming out for some, I believe we're going to see the bunkers. Oh, definitely. He's, oh, there it goes. Good call, Joker. Ooh. There's a cool bunker placement right like between that. the gas and the hatchery. Yeah. That is going to make it hard to get some rounds on it, but he is bringing all, a lot of his workers off the line to defend this. We do have Marines on the way with a few SCVs. The Marine is shooting down this Overlord, but he decided... He decided against it, actually. Uh, Joker, you're lagging a little bit. It's okay. Oh, the bunker is going to finish. Funny. Oh, no, that is oh. going to be bad, but oh. he's going to kill these Marines up. No! Nice. The bunker is going to finish. He's going to lose a lot of these guys. Pro might be forced to to just sack that expo. Um, There's only two Marines in the bunker right now, so it's not that terrible and there's only one scv repairing mm -hmm. so uh some random just needs to do right now is make a few lings wait until the very last second and yeah. just be able to surround that bunker fully absolutely we actually do have uh two more of those marines popped into that bunker it's got a four-man bunker crew i think if he gets it with these oh and there's a couple more reinforcement uh, marines trying to come down here but they did not make it they were stuffed he should be able to stop this with the queen and those lings. Yep, definitely. He's going to have to go right about now. He's making this decision. He doesn't get a full surround. A little bit of a mistake. Oh, oh and he yeah. might not even kill oh, the bunker. No. I'm not sure. I don't think he's going to. He decided to go for that SEV. He might not get this bunker. The lings are going down. Oh, it's going to be close. Even if he does kill the bunker, he's not going to be able to kill off all those marines. Yep, and uh, the oh, bunker wow. will burn down. And Dylan is now controlling his Marines. He's probably going to kill this hatchery. Ooh, and this is a bad start for some random. If we look back in Dylan's base, he's got plenty of Marines, and he's got a ooh, command ooh. center building. So yeah. he does got to follow up. And actually, some random is going to save his hatchery. Ooh, nice. 
Ooh. Nice job on saving the hatchery, but he is way down on drone counts right on drone count right now. He's at eleven versus sixteen, so he needs to drone up, but it's gonna be hard because Dylan still has a lot of guys he can keep the pressure up. Mm -hmm. Some random is in a pretty tight position right now. Yeah, there's a same there's actually more Marines than there are Lings. And uh if you have to count in the mule production, mm -hmm. Dylan's in a commanding position. Absolutely. So some random's gonna need to pull something out of here pretty quick, or he's gonna get booted out of the clan. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That'd be awesome, though. No, no. We were actually joking with Dylan that if he doesn't win this, we're gonna boot him out. But... <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> we wouldn't no. do that. Oh, no, never. But that was yeah, that was some good early pre Oh, and here we have a bunch of Marines yep. coming out from Dylan. This is gonna be tough. He needs Wave to pump two. out. If he starts pumping out a couple more links, he needs to spot that, which I think he does with that Overlord. He needs to get some links out. He should be able to stuff this. He's throwing down a spine crawler right now with this uh, queen. It's going to be tough, though. These Marines are they're coming. He needs to catch them on creep as well. Yeah, he's producing a whole bunch of Zerglings right now, 12 of them. Uh, the Marines have stopped for a little uh, water break, but they've, <laughs> they've now resumed their march, and they're going to immediately kill this spine crawler. And probably move on to the hatchery and easily snipe that hat that low health hatchery. And here oh, come the lings, a nice man. little stutter step micro. Nice, nice, the old scoot and shoot. I love it. And those marines are getting to a great position. They're not going to be able to get surrounded by those lings. They're in such a good position. They are shooting down these lings. The queen's trying to go around. He's going to lose Ooh. all those lings, possibly the queen. He's forced to retreat, and that hatch is going down. Oh, great move by Dylan. You know, he's not. This isn't a kill move. This is to purely to snipe the hatchery, and mm -hmm. so Dylan is going to leave his marines in that position because he knows if he moves out of that position, his marines are going to be killed uh, cost efficiently by the Zerg. So he's going to make it as tough as possible for the Zerg to kill those marines. And Great. back in uh, Dylan's main, he's just landing his uh, expansion and powering up a little bit, throwing down two more raxes, another factory to bring him to two factories and five racks. Awesome. Some random did take clean that up. He is throwing down another hatch, but Dylan is just playing flawlessly right now. I mean, he's doing a great job keeping the pressure mm -hmm. up while still macroing his army and his base, so he's doing great. Yeah, he hasn't actually been pl producing SCVs during this entire time, but uh, that was mainly to focus on a little bit more aggressive play. You know, that second Marine push there was pretty strong and uh, specifically designed to finish off that second hatchery. Oh, absolutely. He does have a nice bunker placement in front of that uh, that command center, except, mm -hmm. you know, that, that bunker's not going to be able to help if those SCVs run up behind the mineral line, but he does have tanks, ports, and a bunch of Marines outside. He should be able to hold off any pressure that some random would do right now, which he is in no position to do any pressure at the moment anyways. Yeah, and uh, Siege Tech is about 10 seconds from fin finishing. <laughs> Um, some random, you know, is completely throwing off his game plan at this point. He's thrown down a spire and a baling's nest. Mm. Uh, he doesn't really have the money to make any type of mutas. No. But uh, he really needs something right now. He needs to advance his tech and he needs to drone up at the same time almost. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be a tough road. If he can pull this win off, it would be amazing. He is, mm. he definitely does not have enough minerals to support that spire, but hopefully if he can get some baling's out. Yep. He'll he, be able to uh, hold Dylan off for a little while. Dylan could easily go and kill him right now. Uh, but if some random were to just make troops, he'd be completely behind if Dylan decided to sit. So some random has to take the risk and tech and drone right now. So I believe yeah. his decision at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like Dylan's coming in for the kill. He's got a lot of Marines, three tanks, and he's still on He's on two bases. Got meals everywhere this this might be a final push for him. This might be the end of some random. Yeah, uh, I guess if these Balians that are morph morphing back in the natural get perfect hits off and kill all the Marines, I guess he would survive this push, but there's just no way he can win at this point. Um, and you notice he, uh, um, Dylan sniped that overload real quick, S supply blocking some random. He cannot reinforce his army right now. This is not a good position for him. That hurts so much. Mm -hmm. Tanks can... are sieging up. 
Yep, and oh, here comes the Bailings! Oh, I love Bailings. Wow, nice hits off on those Marines. Almost yep. cleaned up every single Marine, but he just does not have the economy to be able to, I don't know if he if he has the economy to be able to hold this off. Yeah, what do you think? Definitely. Oh, he does have some Mutas coming out right now. There is very few Marines. If he can kill those Marines off, he's going to be able to stop these tanks. And actually, the Mutas might be able to kill them off by, the, by themselves because those Marines are weak from the Bailing attacks. He might be able to hold this off, but he's still going to mm -hmm. be in bad position. Looks like he's going to lose this hatch. Yeah, he can technically survive this push right now. Um, he's, you know, he can't kill some random, but he's just going to prevent some random from getting into a position to come back. So, you know, good plays by both players. Yeah. So the muters are on the tanks. There's no Marines down here. Those tanks are going to go down. Looks like they're going to try to go... They're into, just gonna the, into the base scout, a little man. more damage. Yeah, into the base a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Snipe off. I, I mean... They there. could have just had a dream, you know. They said, I <laughs> want to see what a bailing nest looks like. <laughs> so they're just going like, on a Sunday cruise. They're like, we're just going to cruise yeah. up into the Zerg's base, you know. Yeah. Drive yeah. around on this slippery creep because it's fun. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they were doing, but they were just having a gay old time. And we see a... <laughs> yeah. we see a Let's see, what do we got? Five mutas on the right side of the map. Looks like they're going to go try to do a little bit of harass. Um, Dylan doesn't have anything in his main, actually. Oh, but never mind. I didn't see this death ball of Marines and tanks coming out right now. A big group. Yeah. There is absolutely, without a doubt, no way that some randoms going to be able to stop that group. Yep, and we actually have one muta. Oh, we got all the mutas in Dylan's main right now, so that's going to... Uh, prevent him from moving uh, into some random space. So it's buying him a little time, but <laughs> at the cost of his entire army. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's true. We, a couple of these Marines warded those off. Um, that is a big, scary group of Marines and tanks. And yep. Dil Dylan's not... I mean, some random's not going to be able to stop this. Great plays by Dylan, though. I like the constant pressure. I like the bunker rush just to delay that hatch. Yeah. Some random is going for a third, but it's not going to happen, guys. Yep, definitely not. In fact, uh, if he doesn't actually like, cancel that third, it doesn't really matter, actually. No, I was going to have... I was gonna have some kind of like awesome like strategic analysis. <laughs> but... Oh, there's the GG. All right, guys, great GG. game. It looks like Team I win got the best of us this time. We'll just have to get some different players for the next matches. Oh snap! Doom can prevail once again. Anyways, check us out on YouTube at Why So Serious SC Two. Thanks, yep. guys. GG. GG.